Hey, what's going on? It's Mitch Gonzalez here and welcome to this video. In today's video, I have a very special guest with me, one of my clients and my personal high performance coach, Eric Alaya. And a very funny story is I actually hired Eric as my high performance coach to help me build really the best product on the market, to get me focused, to get me dialed in, optimize my sleep, optimize my focus and concentration, and really just get to myself that next level of performance in my life, my habits, routines, and so I can create the absolute best product on the market. And so after our first session of working together on me, I started consulting him on his business and how he can grow his high performance coaching business. And after that first session, he's like, you know what, Mitch, I don't care what it takes. I want to work with you on your program as well. So he joined into the program. When Eric and I first started working together, he was making around like 5K a month. He was burnt out. He was grinding it out in the DMs. He had no team. He was doing everything himself. And he really just didn't know how to scale his business. And now he's doing over $30,000 a month and he has a team that does a lot of the work with him. He obviously focuses on what he does best, which is high performance and optimizing entrepreneurs to help them grow their business and become that next level of themselves. But then he delegated a lot of the things so he can work more on the business rather than in it and really optimize his entire business. And now he's doing around $30,000 a month and this is completely organically without spending a single dime on paid advertising. So without further ado, let's dive in. Hey, what's going on? I got one of our clients here, Eric. And Eric, why don't you tell everyone who you are, what you do, and where you were at before we started working together, my man? Awesome. Thanks for having me, Mitch. And uh, my name is Eric Elia, based in Stockholm, Sweden, and I I am a health and performance coach. So I work with entrepreneurs to help them master their health, sleep better, eat better, have better habits. And obviously, as a result, they will do better in their business. And uh, recently just came up with a new offer as well. So we just started helping people grow and start health slash performance consulting businesses, which is something I've gotten help from uh, Mitch with developing as well. Um, Yeah, that's uh, what I do. And uh, I started working with you guys when I was making 5K a month. And you have basically led me up until the 30K mark. And now I'm plotting out to going beyond that. So. Yeah, that's a little bit about me. Absolutely. And give you guys context watching this. I actually hired Eric to help me with my performance because as an entrepreneur, you always got to be investing in yourself and really just helping with the health side and like sleep. And he's one of the best that I know. When if you want to go to anyone, Eric's the man. And I hired him for a reason. And while we were working together, he needed help with scaling his business. And so we got him signed up, got him into the program. And uh, so I guess... Tell me a little bit about where you were at, because I know when we first started working together, you were kind of just in the trenches, kind of grinding things out, and you're a one-man show, and then kind of helping you scale things up. So I guess, what was the main, I guess, part when we first started working together? Like, what was the main challenge, or I guess, what was the main thing you were struggling with that, like, when we first started working together? I was struggling with really just getting, first of all, getting my business up and running in a good way, and consistently de- delivering me bookings on my calendar. Like, that was the main thing. And then obviously, like if you look through the whole work we've done together, there's so many things that I hopefully can bring up in this interview that you guys helped me with. But it was mainly in the beginning, I was making like 5K a month. I was grinding my brains out on, on DMs and doing a lot of mm-hmm. outbounds. You know, the shit that people don't really like to do. And you basically took me under your wing and showed me um, everything from interacting with people online to getting them to book calls, right? That mm-hmm. whole process. And that, when you showed me that path, I basically just put my head down, did the work, work a lot and just, you know, isolated myself and just went fucking hard on it because you gave me the proven like, do this and this is your problem, right? Solve mm-hmm. this and this is going to be the result. So from there on, like I remember when I started working with you, um, I was at the 5K mark and then each and every month, like it took like five months after that to get my first dip uh, Mm. revenue wise. So it only went up after that, right? But it was mainly Mm. like uh, generating leads and getting booked uh, calls on my calendar. Yeah, absolutely. And then I guess when we were, while we were going through that, that journey, I guess what was like the main, I guess, transformation or the most, like the biggest thing that you found was the biggest lever that we kind of pulled to help you get to the point where you're having, I guess, more consistency, more bookings. What yeah. was that piece? Cause I know like for you, I just went and 
dived right in and, and told you just do this. And so what was that? So like, here's the thing with coaches and consultants and especially people in the same niche as mine, uh, the health niche, like you got to master what you, you preach to your clients, right? Mm-hmm. So most, most consultants, just like me, don't know that they need to be a salesman at the same time. They need to master that part of themselves, right? Mm-hmm. So, so I've, I've mastered the game when it comes to what I do. Like I know my shit, but then that, that the second part of my business, the sales, you know, the marketing, the converting people online, being a salesman, mm-hmm. I, I was so bad at that. Like I had nothing on that side, right? Mm-hmm. So you basically transformed me to from a just a health and performance coach, but you sprinkled a lot of salesiness into me and made me understand how sales should be mm-hmm. and basically developed me from, a, as I said, only a health coach to um, a guy who knows how to make money online, basically, and generate leads for his business, right? Mm-hmm. So that's one of the main things. The second thing, um, so it's a lot of transformations here, but the mm-hmm. second thing was that when I started out, you know, I was just thinking, this is me. This is my business. I identified myself with my business. I was like, this is, it's only me that's going to work here, right? I'm here. Mm-hmm. I did this alone. Like, I'm not going to let anyone in. And one of the transformations you helped me with was going from a dumbass solopreneur doing everything, <laughs> doing everything at his own to moving towards being a CEO, getting people in which where I am today with appointment setters, like getting people in, getting VAs, offloading the dirty work um, to think bigger for myself and just look at everything from a bird's eye view, Mm -hmm. right? And then like the third transformation I would say uh, would be like me personally, how you changed me as a person because I went through a lot of like identity shifting processes throughout the coaching from you guys. So it's, Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Absolutely, man. And let's let's unpack the first thing a little bit because a lot of health coaches or performance coaches that I work with, or even mindset coaches, or people that help yeah. with like like EQ and emotional intelligence, all this stuff, it's very like it's more in the like quantum realm. It's more like in their in the mind, right? And it's not like physical, like actual tangible things. Well, some of it is obviously that you can change in yourself and everything like that. But a lot of the times when they're trying to market and get their messaging dialed in and start to actually actually articulate the value and the transformation that they're delivering clients where they don't sound like people are like, what the hell are you talking about? I know for you, we also really dived into the messaging aspect and got it very succinct and clear on that transformation that you help the prospects with and the niche that you're also targeting, right? And that's what ultimately helps you acquire those bookings. And so I know for you specifically, we went in and you were saying like, I help people become like superhumans and stuff. And I was like, yeah. hey, we, need to, we need to get that down into like, what's, what do they want? Right. Yeah. And then what you found was that you started to help them as they increase their performance and their skill set and, and how they and, and reflect inwards, it actually reflects outwards and how they grow their business and everything like that. So tell me a little bit about that and how, when we shifted that messaging, things started to kind of open up and I guess. What was that piece when we went into that and dove into the actual messaging and the, and the targeting aspect of things? How did that help with getting more appointments or, you know, getting more deals, et cetera? Yeah. 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 It's funny you mentioned that because before starting, you know, starting to get, get coached and helped, uh, help from you, I didn't put myself in the customer's mind or the prospect's mind mm. ever. Like I didn't know, I didn't think like that. I was just like my, basically my messaging were, entrepreneurs comes to me when they want to become superhuman like what does that even mean like who Mm -hmm. am I even speaking to right Mm -hmm. and that's like to get back to what I said earlier is that that's what you developed with me you made me understand who I'm talking to and what problems I'm solving and made me get into my customer's head and think you know being able to put myself in their shoes and Mm -hmm. and then formulate my messaging and and how I talk to the market and when that happened everything like the calls just came in a lot more. I did one once back in the day, right? And mm-hmm. I got so many clients that my one-on-one service broke. Like it really <laughs> broke and I had to refund people because <laughs> I couldn't deliver that much, right? Mm. Um, and what you, that's what you helped me do. Like you broke the roof of my consulting business with so much leads and people coming in. 
right? Mm -hmm. And it, I just scaled for like five, six months and everything went good and really good client results as well. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, like when you dialed in the messaging for me, the, the, my calendar just got booked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. And that's, that's what happened, right? And then you obviously shifted into more, um, you still do a lot of accountability stuff in the way that we are doing it. And, uh, but I guess t let's go unpack the second piece of the transformation you mentioned was the, like becoming more going from like the actual technician doing the actual work yourself to being more in like that frame of a CEO and understanding the business from like a broader perspective. And then also casting that vision where it's not just Eric, yeah. it's more of like, here's what the overall vision is and, and scaling it up there. And you mentioned that you brought in some appointment setters and VAs. So I guess, tell me a little bit about that and how that process yeah. is and, and what, what they're doing there. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it was really hard for me to let go of that because this was my baby, right? I don't want mm. no one else to raise it. So mm. it was like, that was the first thing mindset wise for me to really break out of that and think bigger thing in terms of teams. And you really taught me what to look for in a team and what to look for in people that I just, you know, shouldn't go ahead and just hire anyone. Mm -hmm. um, you really made me understand to, I should, that I should look for a players and, you know, certain traits that they should have, etc. Um, so I started doing that. I, first of all, I got a, so if I just circle back a little bit, you made me also understand that, you know, it's actually a price you pay for the tasks you do because mm -hmm. you shouldn't do like every single thing as a mm -hmm. CEO in a company, you should uh, delegate the, um, tasks that gives you less ROI than others. Right. So I yeah. could focus on the bigger ROI things. Um, However, so the first thing I went ahead and did was I got a VA to just offload the recurring day-to-day -day activities, the recurring day-to-day -day crap that needs to mm -hmm. be done. Mm -hmm. um, and that just opened up so much space for me to just think bigger and look at the business from a bird's eye view. And then um, you helped me get an appointment setter and two of them actually um, to just do what I usually do, right? So mm -hmm. when I, back in the day, I was doing like I was – getting people on my calendar, taking the calls myself, delivering the results myself. Now I have people in place to do that myself, to do that for my business so I can focus on the customer, which is the most important thing, mm -hmm. right? So that made me scale, you know, better, harder and go to 30K basically. And the results for my clients became so much better because I could do what I love. I could do what mm -hmm. I like and the client could get my hundred percent support. Right. Mm -hmm. So the product and service just became a hundred percent better. Um, yeah. 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 Absolutely. But the hardest thing, the hardest thing was actually going from that type of mindset where you're just, you know, a solopreneur doing everything yourself thinking mm -hmm. that it's smart and you're going to save profit on it to a, <laughs> you know, thinking bigger yeah. and just putting your ego aside, I guess. Yeah, absolutely, man. And then you just can focus again on that client and being and doing what you do, especially in the business that you're in performance and being the world class at that, because that's what it's going to get more testimonials, more clients in, and it actually feeds into your marketing to get more clients. Right. Yeah. So absolutely, man. And then you mentioned too, like at the end there and before is like the transformation, because when we work together, you helped me transform just like my habits, routines, my sleep patterns, um, my nutrition, everything like that, that I still use to this day. But I guess in terms of like shifting that mindset or the personal transformation that you made, I guess going from that CEO, but I guess deeper than that, how, like, what was that like? And what, what changed about you that also helped like internally that helped you to, I guess, get to that next level and smash through to the, you know, past five, 10 K 30 K. And then ultimately you're on the trajectory to get to a hundred. Right. Yeah. Um, dude, I, I, I changed. Like, if I look back at the person I was mm. when we first met, uh, like, I don't know that guy. I don't mm. know him. So like the ongoing, you know, feedback and, and just, you know, the calls taken with you helped me and changed me so much. And here's the thing, it's commitment, right? When you invest in something, you gotta be willing to commit. And when I mm -hmm. went with you, I was like, I'm going to do everything he tells me to, and I'm going to trust a hundred percent. Right. Mm -hmm. And I drastically saw that I just grew internally so much in terms of like looking back now a year ago, like I, I don't know that guy, like financially, mm -hmm. mentally, I was on a, I'm on a different level than back then. 
And there's no better feeling than that, you know, to be aligned with where you mm -hmm. want to go, your vision, and you feel that you're just a weapon, honestly, in yeah. your mind. And just every obstacle that comes in my way now, I know how to approach it because of that. Like you literally helped me with, and this comes from someone who, you know, just like three, four months before joining you, I was joining, um, I joined the, my first like consulting course. Um, and before that, so I was pretty that new was to Sam's, the game. right? Yeah, that was a consulting accelerator. Yeah. And that was like January, February, 2021, something like that. 2020. Um, 2020, I'm sorry, 2020. Yeah. 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 And when I joined that, like before that, I had no, you know, I, did, I didn't know how my life should be structured. I didn't know how I should mm -hmm. approach things as an entrepreneur. I mm -hmm. didn't know how my mindset, how I should think, how I should program myself, how my day-to-day, -day, weekly, monthly should be structured. Mm -hmm. And you just came in and like cleaned everything up for me, right? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer in that, like, if you fix your personal life, what goes on out here, you're going to yeah. have tremendous success with your business, right? Absolutely. It's a reflection. Yeah, so, reflects back. Yeah. Yeah. So, you helped me a lot with that, too. Mm, yeah. That's one of the biggest things, too, because even getting you to that 30, even 100K, it's like I, I, kept, I kept telling you and what I tell my clients, it's like, you have to become that person now. And yeah. step into and start acting as if you are already that person starting to make decisions and think as if you are already in that position because that's what's going to reflect into your physical life in terms of the results that you get from being and getting into that next level right and that's a big thing that i think entrepreneurs lack and that's why i'm really putting a lot of emphasis on that because especially when you start like first starting you need to get into that phase but even as you grow it's you need to work twice as hard on, on your mindset and habits to maintain and grow and keep scaling. And so I guess my other question for you, man, is like, what was, I guess, the main, I know we talked about like some transformations, but what was like the main, I guess, takeaway from, from our, like us working together? What was the main takeaway from the program? Dude, it's so much, <laughs> um, but um, I'd say I don't know. I'm juggling between like how, how I approach my sales to how I approach myself. Right. Mm. But both, I feel like both of them are so important, but I would say what I have had most problem with was probably me putting in the time, not knowing what was going on, what I did and, mm. you know, just burning myself out. Right. And you streamline my whole, like the one thing I would say is I'm so comfortable with getting sales today and getting booked mm. calls, it's unbelievable. And that mm. is, I guess, the biggest blessing as an entrepreneur to feel mm. secure that, okay, I can jump on my computer tomorrow, generate 10 booked calls and mm -hmm. leave. <laughs> like, yeah. that's, that's, that security for an entrepreneur, I think that's priceless because so many entrepreneurs just, you know, they sweat a lot about not knowing where the next paycheck is gonna come from. And yeah, that's probably the biggest takeaway that you, made me so good on that. I'm so, I feel so confident in that tomorrow mm. I can basically hop on, generate 10 calls at least uh, in like a couple of hours for next week. Right. Mm. And then not to mention like um, what goes on behind the scenes with my appointment setters that is always like on and running. Right. Yeah. So I think that's that. Yeah. No, that's powerful, man. Cause that does give you the sense of confidence. Cause you're not like Oh, I don't have any calls. I'm, how am I going to make my rent or how am I going to do all this stuff where most people get into? And, and that happened to me back in the day too. And it's like, once you have that, you know exactly what you need to do every single day to wake up, generate appointments and take the business to the next level. And so I know for you specifically, like, I mean, people come to me and they're saying LinkedIn and all that stuff. And we obviously helped you with LinkedIn, but you also duplicate a lot of this stuff on a Facebook, right? Yeah. And, and, and all the, obviously other channels. So I guess from that perspective, um, I guess it may be just some like insights or some, some advice for maybe some people that are watching this that they can get from how they should frame it, how should they should look at that prospecting thing. Cause I know obviously you were in there 12 hours a day grinding at yeah. the beginning and, and getting it dialed in. So I guess what, what kind of advice or would you give people to like help them get to that place where they can, you know, generate consistent appointments regardless of the channel? Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's this saying, and I feel like so many people have said it, it's unbelievable, but you know, you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, you teach him how to fish, you feed him for a lifetime, right? Yeah. And especially with generating appointments 
outbound and and mastering that literally the thing that people hate the most to get in and do the dirty work and be in the trenches mm -hmm. if you just master that you're never going to go hungry because you can mm -hmm. you don't need to rely on you know something to generate your appointments because you can do it yourself and i didn't know that before working with you so my advice my biggest advice would be master that and if you haven't yet get someone to help you master that because the ROI on that is basically going to be, you're not going to go hungry the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. Right. Absolutely. Like I could, I'm so confident with, with the coaching from you that if my business would completely, I love what I do. Right. But let's mm -hmm. say it was completely scrapped from tomorrow in the next 90 day, I'd have a six figure a year business up and running. Mm -hmm. Like I'm so confident be, because of the coaching and how you've taught me to approach things. Yeah. 100% man. I say that all the time. I was like, you can take everything away from me now. I'll get there faster and more profound result and, and do it in a, like a very short time frame because I have the confidence and I know exactly what makes people get like what makes them even get on the phone with you. Once you understand that and specifically selling them on that transformation that they want and you can do that and you can communicate it in a way that they're interested. It's, it pulls them onto the phone. Again, you'll never, and you know how to sell and convert them in the sales process and convert them into a client. You'll never go hungry another day in your life. And that that's, that's so key, man. So I guess um, just for anyone that's maybe watching this, that's because I have people like on the performance coaches that come to me or like mindset coaches or just anyone watching, I guess for them, that's like maybe on the fence or they're, they're looking at the program or working with me, I guess, what would you say to them? And, and I guess, what would you recommend the program to them? I'd say, first of all, there's so many fucking bullshitters in the market, <laughs> right? Like there's so yeah. many, you know, yeah. Like the market is so, it's just a weird place, this state. Uh, but this program and you specifically, right? Like you are a, um, a very, very good person compared to many other people in the industry, right? And I can 100% say that you genuinely care about your customers and people that you work with um, mm -hmm. to the point that you wouldn't stop like putting yourself out there to make sure that they 100% get results no matter what, mm -hmm. right? And many, like, here's the thing. In the industry, a lot of people, they see customers, clients, prospects, people, they see them as a Stripe notification, right? Yeah. <laughs> and and you, don't, you don't do that. You genuinely care. So that's the number one thing, like you as a person. And when you have that kind of person, in a company providing something like you provide, it's, you know, bulletproof that the product is going to be your blood, sweat, and tears in it to make sure that the customer gets the best possible. And that's exactly mm -hmm. what it is. So I can hundred percent say that you compared to the whole industry. Um, I would define you as an industry leader leader because of, you know, so many people that you've helped, but also how you are as a person and mm -hmm. the, the, how good the product is. Mm, yeah, no, I appreciate that, man. And one of the things is the reason why I even hired you in the first place was because I wanted to make my product better. Yeah. <laughs> and I spent, Eric knows this, I spent about 16, almost 18 months, 12 hours a day, optimized to the extreme. Like Eric wouldn't even let me, I couldn't watch, go on YouTube. I did, like any, any dopamine he just removed from my life and I got all of the dopamine from the work and building a great product and getting my clients better results. And that was for over 12 months. I, we worked like that, optimizing my sleep, 90, 95 score on my aura rings, like really optimized. And that was for being able to put in the deep work to build and, and create the best product on the market and put my being and my soul into it. And Eric knows how how much time and my company and how we think about this. And we're always customer centric. What's best for the client is best for us and keep uh, investing back into it. And that was one of the reasons why I signed up with you and we started working together. And then obviously I helped you with your stuff as well, yeah. but it was mainly for that and becoming that next level. And so I couldn't have done it also without you. So I'm super grateful for, for your uh, performance yeah, coaching. It's funny you mentioned that because most of the entrepreneurs in the industry, when they go into product, creation mode they just try to get it done as fast as possible what you did because i was 
with you behind the scenes, what you did was you hired a performance coach. You were fucking in the trenches optimized for like um, over 12 months. Like compare that to the rest of the people in the industry, just putting a deadline. Yeah. I want to get the course done in, uh, I want to get the product yeah, done in a 30 month days or so. Or, yeah. yeah. 30 days. <laughs> You yeah. spent 12 months on that. It's fucking world class. Sorry for swearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it, it absolutely is. I mean, like when we say optimize, we're talking about 12 hours, six days a week of like extremely deep work, like no distractions. Like, yeah. You couldn't even reach me. My family was getting mad because I, <laughs> I was, it, we were in the yeah. trenches. But that's really what, like it takes to get to that world class level. And that's one of the things that Eric does too. So if you want to also work with Eric, I highly recommend it. Eric will change your entire life, especially if you're, if your not sleep's not good, your nutrition, your mindset, everything like that. He help you from all of that portion to get you to the point where you get at that high performance level. Obviously, I teach a lot of that in my program because I learned it from Eric. But he'll take you to that next level and give you the guidance, accountability that you need to really take it to the next level. And that's really why I hired him as well. And so, Eric's a beast. So if you want to go, I'll drop a link in the comments or the description as well. And you can go check him out. And uh, yeah, Eric, anything else that you want to, or any like last words of advice or anything for anyone that's watching? No, I appreciate what you just said. And if someone is over the standing on the fence to join your guys program, like I would, I wouldn't even blink. I would join. If you have the opportunity, I would hundred percent join because it definitely changed. It taught me how to, you know, how to, make sales for the rest of my life. As I said, as I've mm. you know, pointed back to a lot of times in the, in the, in this uh, recording here in this video, but no, it's uh, world-class. Awesome, brother. Well, I really appreciate, really appreciate you hopping on and I know you're going to be at hundred K a month soon and we'll maybe get you on another interview, but uh, keep crushing your men and we'll uh, appreciate you hopping on. Thanks for having me. So hopefully you found massive value in this interview. Eric, again, he helped me with my high performance. He's an absolute legend, and I recommend him to anyone that wants to increase their game. I also cover that a lot inside of my program because I know as an entrepreneur, yeah, you need to learn how to generate appointments, how to grow your business, how to get sales, how to hire a team, but you also need to focus on the your personal side, right? How you do one thing is how you do everything. If you're going hard and you're at that high peak performance level in yourself personally with your health, your fit fitness, your nutrition, your sleep, then that's going to translate into your business and your results as well. So we cover a lot of that inside of our program as well. And again, Eric was one of the person that he helped me to create the best product on the market. And we don't just focus on LinkedIn. As you can see, we use a multi-channel approach, whether you do high performance coaching, whether you do wellness or health programs, or whether you help people with a nutrition mindset, or whether you're in B2B, right? You want to get in front of business owners, decision makers, whatever the case may be, wherever you're at, we'll walk through exactly how you can do that. And so if you want to learn more about our program and how you can get results like Eric, like all the other testimonials you see below, then you can go below and book a live demo with me personally. I'll literally get on Zoom with you or one of my team members and we'll show you exactly how you can start to get qualified appointments on your calendar, build up your pipeline, get consistent high ticket sales and scale your business to that 30, 50, 100,000, $500,000 per month and beyond and do it very lean, very efficiently and have systems in place where you can build a team so you can work more on your business and not in it and actually grow a real company. And so if you want to learn more about that, go below, book a live demo, and we'll help you scale up your business. And so that's it for this video. So if you like the video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.